One neighborhood on Jacksonville's historic east side is no longer a food desert as a longtime grocery store opened its doors again. The corner of Deb's store was a community staple for more than 90 years before it closed down in 2011. And today, as News for Jacks reporter Aaron Farrar shows us, it reopened with a new look and plenty of additional resources beyond just food. This is such a feeling of familiarity for Joanne Peterson. She shopped at this very store when she was a little girl. Now 73 years old, she says this site is like a family reunion. One thing I, I like about them, they welcome you in the store. They know your name. They know what you, you know, they know about you. And all I can say, they show love. After 13 years closed down, the corner at Deb's store is back open for business. With the help of the Debs family, along with several community organizations like Lift Jacks, Historic Eastside CDC, Goodwill Industries of Northeast Florida, and Vistar Federal Credit Union. This grocer meeting so many needs in this historic Eastside neighborhood on Florida Avenue, for one, it eliminates this area from being designated as a food desert. This is Rosalind Harris's first time shopping here after she moved to the neighborhood about three years ago. Then there's people like Tim Andrews, who grew up as friends with the Debs family, who actually owned the store. He shopped here all the time during the 1970s. When you came in this store back in the 70s, everybody was treated like family. It didn't matter who you were. And it's just great to see that they're bringing this back. And I'm overwhelmed with all the people that's out here today. And it's just, it's, it's just a blessing. Convenience and um, they have everything you want. You have, they have the meat, you have produce, um, vegetables, um, frozen food, it's, it's outstanding, really. This store, a symbol of respect in this neighborhood, owned by the Debs family, Joe Debs is the grandson of the original owners. He says when his father died, they had to close up shop in 2011. He says he knew then that that move would have consequences for this area. But with the store back in service now, Debs says the legacy of care can continue. Each person who walked through that door wasn't equal to me, no better, no worse, and that I had to treat that person with dignity, with respect, and with love. And it's not just things added at the store. Across the street, you'd find this historic marker. This gives a detailed account of all the history related to the store and the owners. And of course, that's right across the street. But also in this area, two bus stops, one right here and one on the other side of that JTA bus, all a part of this revamp of the corner at Deb's store. A part of the revamp is here on the second floor that will serve as a community resource hub and a career center. Services will include employment services, job placement, high school mentorship program, an adult education program, and a computer lab. So many components wrapped up in one central location. The community needed this. And there's firm hope that this time it's here to stay. In Historic Eastside, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station. And I love the fact it's so expensive, not just a grocery store, but even had a, a Vice Star Bank there as well. And one of the uh, sound bites I heard earlier today, one lady said it almost felt like a family reunion I know. when she went to the store earlier, and it just felt like she knew all the people there. And it's, so now it's like it's a community gathering place. It's it's a warm, uh, it's a good. Goodwill working, for it's, sure. It certainly is. It's good to see that come to fruition. Those people have waited a while, you know. It's Absolutely. great to see this resource here for them. It's yeah. amazing. Congratulations.